Good morning and welcome to your Black Press Morning Brief. I'm Carmen Weld and here are this morning's top stories. Environment Canada has issued a freezing rain warning for most of the southern interior today with pockets of freezing rain expected Tuesday morning. The widespread warning is currently in effect for the Okanagan, Shuswap, Similkameen, Nicola, Thompson, West Columbia, Arrow Lake, Slocan Lake, Boundary and West Kootenays. This warning also applies to all the applicable highways in those regions, including the Coquihalla Highway from Hope to Kamloops, the Okanagan Connector from Merritt to Kelowna, Highway 3 from Hope to Kootenay Pass, and the Trans-Canada Highway from Eagle Pass to Rogers Pass. A plan to revitalize the area between the Capri Centre and the Landmark Towers has been approved by City Council, but without councillors balking at the proposed price tag. On Monday, City staff presented Council with what it called a preferred concept plan, an ambitious vision for the area bordered by Gordon Drive, Spall Road, Highway 97 and Springfield Road. The City expects the Capri Landmark area to grow by nearly 10,000 people by 2040 if the plan is implemented, but the proposed estimated price tag of $100 million over 22 years has councillors concerned. They're slippery, they're scaly and they don't have legs. They're some of our scariest nightmares, but Elise Huffman says snakes are some of nature's most misunderstood creatures. She hosts a series of snake charming workshops at the Okanagan Science Centre, where she lets people of all ages get up close and personal with pythons and corn snakes in hopes of driving away fears and diminishing doubts about the scaly reptiles. Fueled by the desire to increase their numbers, the BC Dragoons are kicking their campaign into high gear with a new toy. A tactical armoured patrol vehicle, or TAP-V, was delivered to the Vernon base Monday morning. And on the heels of a fatal ammonia leak in Fernie, BC, a group of emergency professionals in Sukumus gathered for a training exercise to ensure they're prepared. What begins as a small ammonia leak in the ice plant at the Sycamus Arena has taken a turn for the worse. There's a man down inside and the toxic corrosive gas is escaping the building. The weather forecast for the Okanagan Shoe Shop is calling for a chance of flurries and rain throughout the day with a chance of freezing rain in the higher terrain. The fog is supposed to clear by the end of this morning and a high of plus one for the day. Tomorrow we're looking at mainly cloudy conditions with a 60% chance of flurries in the morning, then a 60% chance of rain showers in the afternoon. Winds will also head south at 20 km an hour near noon and a high of plus 3. To keep up to date on all your local, provincial and national news, check back on this site throughout the day. For Black Press, I'm Carmen Wells.